Welcome to the channel guys, this video is for college and sixth form students studying level 3 BTEC IT. In this video we're going to talk about long answer questions for your unit 1 IT systems exam. We're going to go over the different techniques you can use to answer 10 marker questions. Towards the end of the video we'll go over an example question you might be asked in your exam. I'll put a timestamp on the screen if you want to skip to that part of the video. Now on the screen here we've got an example of a question that might come up in your exam. This question's 10 marks and it's asking us to analyse meaning we're going to have to give the pros and cons of the topic of the question. Now if the question says to analyse you don't need to give a conclusion. Unless the question says to analyse and evaluate then that's when you would have to conclude your answer. So the question on the screen is asking us to analyse the threats of the business using IT systems. When you are answering this question, you need to talk about the different ways that the company could be affected by choosing to use IT systems. So an example could be security threats. You can see with the example answer on the screen how the student has really gone into detail about how malware like viruses and worms can affect the company's data. If you're looking to get high marks on these questions, you really need to spell it out for the examiner just to show that you understand what you're talking about. So it does help if you're familiar with the content. If you need help covering the content, I'll try and make some videos on Unit 1. But if there are no videos on the channel when you're watching this video, then you can try websites like Know It All Ninja or BBC Bite Size, where you can learn about Unit 1 IT systems. But the way that I picked up the content was through the textbook, because it was specifically designed to teach Unit 1 and Unit 2 for Level 3 BTEC IT. On the screen here I'll have the worked example that we just went through, as well as some tips and a checklist that you can use to help answer these questions in your exam. You can pause the video here and read through it if you'd like, it'll probably help you out. If there's anything else that you need, just leave a comment and let me know in the comments. And I'll try my best to make a video on the topic. 